noise cancelling software or noise cancelling headset which one really works now in this very short video we are going to experiment or to test which one is legit or valid in cancelling the background noise okay so first i would like to introduce to you the headset that i'm using so actually i bought this for 2800 pesos right very expensive but i was willing to spend that amount of money believing that this headset really cancels the noise so let's see if it really does work so i have here my phone with me and i am going to play a music and i'm going to play it beside me and let's see if this headset cancels the noise and now i'll play the music okay so definitely it doesn't work um sadly okay so now let's try the noise cancelling software i installed in my computer and let's see if it would cancel this music or this noise so now i will activate the software in three two one still full volume and katabi ko lang siya so does it cancel the noise so if this app could cancel the noise beside me what if pa kaya yung mga aso ng kapitbahay or other noises which are farther than this one so if you want to know how did i do this and if you want to know how to install this app please continue watching Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So before we start, I would like to say thank you to the 241 subscribers who recently subscribed on my YouTube channel and also for the 1K views of my recent video, Teaching Literature to Senior High School Students. So thank you so much, Po. So uh, for those who don't know me yet, um, I am Catherine Taboso. So you can call me Ma'am Kath, Miss Kath, or simply Kath or Catherine. And aside from being a public school teacher or a public high school teacher, uh, particularly teaching ODL students in our new normal curriculum, I am also a part-time English tutor to Japanese internationals. So I teach every night po. So with these demands of my job or and my part-time job, you know, which I really have to deliver quality lessons, uh, it also requires um, noise-free classes. Okay po. So, uh, with that, uh, for today's video, I am going to share to you the step-by-step -step guide on how or what uh, particular noise-canceling software I use and how to install it to your PC and Google Chrome for free. Okay po. So, uh, by the way, um, if you hear some dogs barking in, in the background or if you hear people speaking in the background, I would like to remind everyone that uh, I just uninstalled the noise cancelling feature or the noise cancelling software in my PC. You know po, para maipakita sa inyo yung step-by-step -step procedure niya from installing it up until activating and set, setting it up sa inyong PC. So, let's get started. Okay, so for our first step, so please check the Google Drive link on the description box below this video to download the Crisp installer. So, ito po yung Google Drive link and at the same time, I also, um, uh, I also put it in the description box below this video in order for you to be redirected to the Google Drive. So, puntahan po natin yung uh, pinaka uh, link. So, here it is. 
So, uh, after clicking the link, so you will be redirected into this page. So, the only thing that you will have to do is to click the download. So, may meron po tayong download tabs. So, just click the word download and then it will download automatically. So, I have to cancel this download process since I already have the crisp app on my laptop. So, hindi ko na po siya download So, for us to save more time. So, ito po magiging itsura niya. So, this is how it looks like once you're done uh, downloading it. So, ang gagawin po natin, you just need to install, to click install, and then do it. Okay, so since natapos na po natin yung installation process nung pinaka uh, crisp app, so ayan, completed the crisp setup wizard. So, the only thing that you have to do is to click uh, finish. Okay? So, after po natin mag-click ang finish, paano natin malalaman na nandito na talaga siya sa computer natin? So, makikita nyo po, lilitaw siya dito sa may baba sa task bar. Okay? Ayan na po siya. So, it's now here. At pagkatapos po, may lalabas na sign in or sign up. So, yung mga susunod po nating steps, I hope makasunod po ang lahat para po wala pong maging problema when it comes to setting up our crisp app. Okay po? So, pakiclick na po yung sign in or sign up. So, after clicking that, you will be brought to the crisp webpage. So, now we're here na po sa webpage ng crisp uh, after clicking the sign in or sign up. So, ang gagawin na po natin next, so, i-explain ko po muna yung mga plans na inaalok ni Crisp. So, nag-aalok po sila ng free. Okay? Kaya lang, the, the downside of the free app, so yes, you can use it for free. However, you can only mute your microphone and your speaker noise for 120 minutes a week. And that is actually not good kasi uh, if, pag sinabi natin 120 minutes, that only means na 2 hours lang natin magagamit si Crisp. And then, uh, right after that, babalik na ulit sa noisy background. Eh, hindi naman tayo nakaklasi for only 2 weeks. Uh, 2 hours, ba? So, kulang pa yun. So, uh, nag-alok ulit si Chris na use your work email and get 14 days of free pro. So, ano yung pro? Ito yung pro. Mahal siya. $3 monthly. So, magkano rin yan pag isang taon. Okay? So, uh, ang kagandahan dito, it would mute your microphone noise and your speaker noise and you can use it in Zoom, Teams, and Meet. But, at the same time, it's unlimited. Unlike nito na 120 minutes lang. You can use this only kung tusawa. Yun nga lang, you have to pay. But, uh, since they also offered na you can use this uh, for free, okay, for 14 days, but you have to use your work email. I papasok mo yung email mo. So, for example, kagaya ko, I have uh, six emails. Like, I have this email, this one, I also have my DepEd email, my Gmail email. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have my PNU email. So, I have 6 emails. So, palagi na natin kung gagamitin ko ang isa sa kanila or gagamitin ko sila, tapos 14 days yung makukuha kong free. So, if that's 6 emails... And then, I will have uh, two weeks each. So, ang mangyayari, magiging 12 weeks siya. So, that will be equivalent for three months only. So, after three months, ano nang mangyayari? Hindi ko na sila pwedeng gamitin. So, should I make another email, bagong email, every other two weeks para lang makuha tong 14 days free na to? No need na po. Here's the solution and how are you going to do that. So, our next step po is please... Um, Visit this website. It's temp-mail.org. So, kakapi ko lang po siya. And then, uh, let's paste it here. At puntahan natin siya. Okay? So, ano pong gagawin natin dito? So, for what is this website? Okay? So, this website is actually to provide you disposable temporary emails. So, instead na gumawa ka ng gumawa ng account o kaya naman gamitin mo yung mga personal Gmail accounts mo, punta ka lang sa website na to and it will offer you one temporary email address na pwede mong gamitin para yun ang gagamitin mo at makakuha ka ng free for crisp. Copy this and then punta ka ulit kay crisp app and then paste this email and then click continue 
and then you will be redirected to another web page at sasabihin niya, check your email. We've sent a six-digit verification code to uh, this email and it will expire shortly so enter it soon. So, ang tanong naku, paano yan? Hindi ko naman alam ang password ng email na yan. Paano ko yan i-log in at paano ko titignan ko ano yung six-digit verification code na yan? Uh, don't panic po because you just need to scroll down here sa tempmail.org natin. Ito po siya at nandito po yung kanyang inbox. Click nyo po ito. Ayan o, nag-send si Crisp at ito po yung email niya kay dito sa email address na to okay at pagbukas niya po there you go you have now the code so copy lang po si code and then i-paste po siya natin dito or i-type niyo na lang siya kung mababa 00983 so pagka-paste niyo po diyan uh, hintayin lang po natin at ayan there you go so you are now signed in to crisp Okay? So, ayan, tapos na po siya. Pero, uh, please do not stop the video po kasi may mga gagawin pa po tayo dahil isa set up pa po natin yung crisp app. So, tapos na po tayo. Di ba po? Signed in na. So, punta po kayo ulit here. Okay? Ayan po, since you're now signed into crisp, so please check your desktop app again. So, dito po ulit sa baba, sa may taskbar. And then, click again, sign in or sign up so that the CRISP uh, website will be prompted na you're already signed in para ma-connect yung desktop app mo doon sa CRISP website account. So, ayan, tapos na. Ayan, so since uh, natapos na natin siyang i-install at na-connect na natin yung desktop app, so again, you are now signed in using this email. So, uh, now you can start using the CRISP app. So, i-activate na natin at i-set up na natin siya. So, ayan, a great job daw. So, you are now signed in with this email. So, let us start um, setting it up. So, paki-close muna natin ito. At tapakita ko sa inyo paano natin i-set up yung pinaka-app. Uh, so, try natin muna sa Skype. So, kung i-set up natin siya sa Skype, punta lang kayo sa Skype account nyo. And then, please click the audio setting or settings. And then, pagdating ninyo sa audio and video, you will see there yung microphone. So, kagaya niyan, ang gamit ko ngayon ay yung aking headset. So, instead na headset yung ilagay, ilagay ang or piliin ang crisp. Okay? Kasi siya ang magiging microphone mo. Siya yung uh, magpe-filter or magka-cancel ng noise. Okay? Pero, syempre, bago mo gawin yun, or bago mo siya i-activate, tingnan mo at i-check mo na dapat yung ginagamit mong headset yung napili at nakalagay used by Skype. Ayun. So, yun yung kanina na nakita natin, nakalagay used by Skype. So, that means ginagamit ng Skype si Crisp app kanina. So, yung next step naman natin is uh, how are we going to uh, activate Crisp app kapag gagamitin na natin siya sa Google Chrome or I mean sa Google Meet kapag magkaklase tayo lalo na sa mga teachers natin dyan ngayon sa new normal na nagtuturo ng mga ODL students natin. So, simple lang po. Let's do this. So, please add Crisp Google Chrome extension. So, uh, I also put this link on the chat uh, on the description box below. So, kindly visit it. So, ikakopy ko lang siya. And then, I am going to access this one. So, currently, nandito ako sa Google Chrome. So, I just need to add this to Chrome. And, uh, click add extension. So, since uh, I am also using um, the Microsoft Edge, so, ito din, uh, i i-install ko din yung uh, extension ng Crisp para magamit natin siya. So, pagka na-add extension nyo na, hintayin nyo lang. And then, once na you're done, uh, this will appear. So, thanks for installing. And then, after that, uh, check nyo yung upper right corner. Like ito, like for example, itong sa ano, uh, Microsoft Edge. So, makikita nyo dito sa gilid yung crisp. So, ayan, thanks for installing. Ito yung crisp mismo. Oh. Tapos, kapag binuksan nyo yan, mag ask siya ulit for sign in or sign up. I-click nyo lang siya para ma-prompt si Crisp na 
may Google Chrome extension ka na. So, now you're signed in again. And then, kapag vinisit nyo ulit siya, ayan na siya. So, Crisp will activate when the microphone is used in a tab. So, for example, dito ako na Google Meet. So, it will definitely remove the noise when a call starts. So, pag enough off nyo yan, syempre hindi niya maka-cancel but it would uh, turn on kapag naka-on siya. So, Chris will switch to free plan on Monday, October 26, 2020. So, medyo maaga ko kasing ginawa tong video na to. So, 26 siya mawawala. So, after nyan, you just uh, repeat the same process again. Pero every two weeks and that's for free. Okay? So, yun lang. And how about let's move on to the next and to the last step. So, for the last part of our video, ituturo ko na sa inyo paano natin isa-set up si uh, Crisp both sa Google Meet or sa Zoom. Okay? So, dito muna tayo sa Google Meet. So, uh, this is very helpful especially sa ating mga public uh, and private uh, school teachers natin ngayon na mga ODL teachers o mga online distance learning teachers na nakakandak ng classes sa Google Meet. So, how are we going to do this? So, kindly click the settings. Okay. So, ayan. Select natin yung settings. So, kung makikita ninyo, ang default na microphone na gamit ng Google Meet ko ngayon ay yung Jabra Evolve 20 o yung ginagamit kong headset. Yung suot ko ngayon. Pero since nga gusto nating i-cancel yung noise, gusto natin tanggalin yung ingay, yung background noise natin. So, instead na itong gawin nating microphone, ang gagamitin natin ay ang Crisp app. So, ito, select And then, after selecting the Crisp as your microphone, it would totally cancel all the background noises. And then, after that, dito naman sa speakers, you can also choose crisp. So, para sa naman to, kung ang kausap mo naman ang maingay yung background, so for example, mga students mo na may ingay yung background, so si crisp naman ang magka-cancel ng noise sa speaker mo. Okay? So, Limbawa, nagtawag ka ng student and the student unmuted his microphone para sumagot. So, hindi mo maririnig kung may nagsisigawan man sa likod niya or hindi mo maririnig kung may manok man or may aso kasi ang ginawa mong speaker ay si Crisp. And that means uh, his, uh, you know, Crisp is going to cancel the noise on your speaker. So, great job. Tapos na yun. So, uh, of course, before that, I would like you to again check your Crisp app. So, this time, uh, please remember since kagaya ko, I am using my headset. Remember na dapat ang nakalagay dito ay Jabra Evolve. O yung kung ano yung kasalukuyang ginagamit mo. Bakit po? Kasi nga, ang nakalagay dito sa iyong uh, Crisp app or dito sa Google Meet mo, uh, ang, ang nakalagay dyan ay Crisp yung ginawa mong microphone, right? So, since siya yung naging microphone mo, kailangan ang nakalagay dito na ikakancel o i-remove ng noise ay coming from the microphone na ginagamit mo currently. So, if you are using your laptop lang, ito lang, o di yung high definition audio, but since I am using my Jabra Evolve, so yun yung isa setup mo dito. And same goes with the speaker. And kung makikita niya nakalagay used by Google Chrome, that means it's activated, it's set up, and at the same time, ginagamit siya and used by Google Chrome. Okay? So now, how about sa ating, uh, paano naman sa ating Zoom? So puntahan lang natin ang Zoom. So ito. Um, I'll, I'll be showing you how to set this up sa ating Zoom app. Okay, so now, ito na siya. So, paano naman natin isa-set up si Crisp sa Zoom? So, ganito lang po siya. Sobrang dali lang po niyang gawin. Punta lang po kayo sa settings. Sa so, lahat ng mga teachers na gumagamit ng Zoom, just click setting. Okay? And then, after clicking the setting, punta lang kayo doon sa my audio. Okay? na pagkapunta ng audio, ayan, naka ano na sa akin. Please select Crisp microphone as your mic. And dito din sa iyong speaker. Okay? Pareho silang naka-crisp. So, pag binisita nyo ulit itong desktop app used by two apps. Kasi nakabukas pa yung Google. Used by Google Chrome and Zoom Meetings. So, used by Google Chrome and Zoom Meetings. So, that means uh, naka-activate siya sa both app. So, yun lang. And congratulations! So, kung nagawa mo na lahat ng mga steps na to, definitely you're done and enjoy your free or your noise-free classes.